Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I'm already headed down to the barn. Got my hands full of all this stuff. I'll explain what it is. But first, I want to show you guys something before we leave. So, uh, yesterday you guys saw that we went to the Rowe Winter Fair and it was so fun. We watched a show there called The Super Dogs. Ruby's excited. She knows we're going down to the barn. We watched a show called The Super Dogs and while we were watching that, I was hoping to get inspiration for like our dog, like our horses, our minis, because we want to do stuff with them. And Sophie and Gabby got inspiration for their dogs. So we came home last night and this happened. You're excited. <laughs> she learned to spin. Like just because your dog is deaf doesn't mean they can't do stuff. Like she's hey, so good. She's a little excited. Like two minutes. She learns to do everything in two minutes. Especially She'd be so good at that. The only problem is she gets car sick, so going in the car would be hard. Okay, show us what. All right, well, prove it, sister. Spin. 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 Oh, it's easier for okay, you. Okay, it's true. All of our dogs can spin. All of our dogs can spin. And it's true, it's easier for you. Because your dog is not deaf. But to be honest, it's easy for her to. Tricks and commands. And stuff when she's focused on you is not hard. It's not any harder than, wow. It's not harder than any other dog. It's just like when you're in certain circumstances where they can't hear and they need to hear that's hard. Aw, last night she was doing it so good. I her a treat when I because she She wants a treat between each one? Yeah. Nope. For some reason, for some reason, she doesn't want to go between your legs. Good girl. Yeah. Anyway, she's a work in progress. We're all a work in progress, but let's go down to the barn. So uh, yesterday it was dark when we showed you guys the damage to Gabby's car. That's the normal side. That's the damage side. Just makes me sad looking at it. Like it looks way worse than it did last night. In fact, I like looking at it better when it was dark yesterday morning. Let's try not to show it to Gabby this morning. She's still worked up about it. She knows these are the apples in Sophie's hands. Sophie, you should have cut them. Willow takes small bites, really small bites. It's, that's the best part about miniatures. They take like an hour to eat one apple. Well, I will, I, we need new treats. So I'm gonna go to the store and get yeah, treats that's tomorrow. Why I tomorrow apples. I'll get them. Last night when we got home, and everybody came down to do chores. Guess who was the first horse to Winnie and say hello? It was Winnie. I mean, it was Minnie. I mean, it was Honey. <laughs> she said, "You are gone from the arena. I have your spot." <laughs> that's, her. that's actually Willow's napping spot. That's hilarious. We teaching her well. She's napping. So one of the things that we bought at the store was this licorice. It was like, I don't know. 30 inches long I don't know it was really long and I just cut them up into little pieces and it's just licorice filled with cream and it's from Europe and it's so good like I love it but I don't want everybody anybody to eat like a big huge piece of it it's too much sugar so I cut it up also I washed Sophie's saddle pad this is her favorite saddle pad and it didn't come super clean but I'm gonna hang it up in our beautiful store so honey has never had a treat before and we're not gonna be giving her treats on a regular basis whoops but this is the first time we've ever given her an apple. Gracie, you're ruining it. And she's only giving her just a couple of little bites to see if she likes it. Do you like it? She just licks it, takes little bites. <laughs> she's more interested in her mama. <laughs> I can see like a such a change in her personality because she's settling in and she's getting used to the other horses. See? Aw, the tiniest little bite. <laughs> Gracie's like, I will take it off your hands, honey bear. Oh, you are a chunky monkey. A chunky little monkey. She has mud on her feet for the first time. Exactly. She's got mud on her feet for the first time. I don't know about her. Yeah. Mud on her feet for the first time with us. Turn around. Wait. No, come here. Turn, Turn around. Wait. Turn around. Wait. Turn around. Wait. Oh, that was cute. So, you guys don't know, but we are going to a Santa Claus parade. We registered, I registered yesterday, 
<laughs> Actually, while we were at the Royal Winter Fair, I registered. Turn, stop. Turn, stop. So excited. It'll be our first parade. Turn, turn, sit. Good job. So it's our first ever parade. And you guys might remember, I don't even know if I said this, but long ago when we first got into horses I when the girls were young and we first got our first horse I was so much like I I wanted to go in a parade with the horses so badly but you have to have like the certain kind of horse and you have to like I mean it it you have to have a good you have to have a certain kind of horse to go in a parade but anyway we're going in a parade and a Santa Claus parade and it's gonna be fun who are we taking Willow, Gracie, and Molly. We're taking Willow, Gracie, and Molly. I'm taking uh, Gracie, Sophie's taking Willow, and I'm taking Molly. We're not taking the baby because she's too little to walk in a parade. Uh, it'd be great I mean, exposure for her, but her. yeah, we could not carry her, but just too much for her. Um, Penny, I'm do, gonna do some work with her today to, I, like, I know what the problem with the trailer is, so I just gotta do some groundwork and get her to remember that she's a listening horse, not a thinking horse. Again. Yeah, and so I'm not gonna take her until I know for sure, like, mm -hmm. I can get her on the trailer reliably and easily. Yeah. And then, Chino is big and hard, and Gabby really wants to bring her dog, so. That, those are the three we're taking. Yeah. Willow. Gracie and Miss Molly. I mean, I bring Ruby, I bring Daisy. Daisy gets sick in the car, but I bring both of them because they would love it. Daisy and Ruby would love it. I, if Sam was gonna walk, I'd hey, get him. Willow. I'd get him to walk one of them. Actually, we could walk two things probably, but we don't want to make it too complicated our first parade. Other Brother. Um. Okay. Okay. Down. <laughs> oh, you should teach her stay. Uh, I didn't teach her stay. I taught her wait. As well. All right, teach. Down. She doesn't quite listen to it. Down. Wait. She doesn't quite listen to she it. She does wait. Look Oh. She's waiting for me to say. Wait. Leave it. Wait. Wait. Go get it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's got it, Gabby. No, because I have to constantly say wait. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's like one issue for sure. But anyway, uh, welcome to today. My sister and my brother are actually coming and bringing one of their youngest, um, my brother's youngest kid. And maybe we'll ride. Maybe we'll just visit with the horses. All right, honey, I have a word to pick with you. I have to have a word with you, honey. No pooping right in front of the door. It's not cool. <laughs> She's like, well, I'm going into my stall now. But thank you. <laughs> Is your name is not Penny. I know. I can't get Honey and Penny. I can't work it. Ooh, using my gloves, are you? My grooming gloves. I wanted to tell you guys about yesterday, about how in the comments in today's video, people are saying that the fact that Sophie had to pull Willow made them deduct marks from her being second winner. I am second. You are second. So, what we didn't tell you guys is that Sophie has noticed this and has been working on this. And instead of, and she's been working with getting for, she's been working on getting Willow to move forward with what? With that dressage whip. And I actually asked for one for Christmas myself. Because we love that she spins. I love a spinning pony. Oh, look, she's drinking. <laughs> She's so cute. So, yeah, we totally agree with that. But you see, like, Sophie's trying to teach her this way instead of using the lead rope. The least amount of pressure that to get the job done is what she's kind of aiming for. But the thing is, is that, like I said before, we were trained English always. Our whole career, we didn't even ever, like, step in foot a Western barn. We've never, like, really formally had any Western lessons. And that stuff just isn't taught around us. It's just not taught like the normal horsemanship although the girls did have some fun classes back in the day with Fiona when they were really little but they've never had like any formal training here it's riding lessons it's not like train you to be like stable management we don't have that so if you gotta brush her butt listen I got nothing for you did you know that you were the superstar of the show I have friends that are like, Gracie's the winner always. And the reason is, is because she wants to do stuff. She likes to do stuff. She'll do anything. She'll do anything. She literally thinks that you're meant to kiss people. Show them, show them. <laughs> Watch your eyeballs. <laughs> 
She's just so peaceful. She's so calm. She's just like, yeah, we kiss. <laughs> We're a kissing family. Okay, let her go and see what she does again. After Sophie stopped kissing her before, she reached over and kissed Gracie. It is nap time in the barn. That's why it's so calm. Two trips I don't really do with Willow anymore is kiss and smile. And you know what people are saying? They are saying that the reason, the reason that Great Willow didn't do as well as Gracie is because you aren't doing the same kind of that. You that's not the things that you do with her. You do like individual tricks, kind of. Oh, yeah. no. But that's so good though. Like so many things we can work on. Okay. Hey, yeah. Wait. Oh my goodness. Gabby went up to the house already. Oh, you caught the bag. Okay. First of all, every time I walk into the tack room, my heart feels happy. You know how when you see something that just sits really well in your brain? Well, this is it, you guys. I love it. It just makes it seem so much more cozy. Like, I love that. Do you love it? <laughs> every time I come in, I'm like shocked. So Sophie and I are planning our um, Christmas costumes for the parade. And so oh, I love be... that. We can cut holes in it. No, me and Julia are being Alice, and this is going to be Mrs. Claus, and someone else is going to be Santa Claus. I think we should definitely cut holes in it so that we can put their ears in. I think it's a bit big. No, I love it. Like, if you hung it down like this. Oh, I actually wanted to take pictures of them, too. I love that. That's adorable. Definitely have to cut holes through it because she doesn't look cute unless she's got her ears. So, this is Sophie's, but I was thinking that... No, oh, no, not that. I was thinking this is the only horse that's going to fit, really, is going to be Gracie. No, so, it's, it's too big for Gracie. I think I can modify it, but I like that. You like, are not modifying that. I love it. Sophie, get back here. I wanted that. I want this. Oh. Uh, so, I also I wanted it. that for Gracie. Cute. It's so cute. I You're love it. Her. Come here, Gracie. <laughs> Gracie's like, no, I'm eating, but thanks. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like this. Like, that's cute and bright for a parade. I don't know. Let's see. Red and white. What do you guys think? So far, this is my costume. I could put, like, a bow tie on her, but she's a girl. Push the button, and it glows. So I might take that, too. I might try that on Gracie. My sister just arrived. You can tell because of the guard Gracie standing there watching. All right, there's Santa Gracie. <laughs> she's so funny. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh my gosh, we should do Christmas pictures. We're getting our horses ready for Santa Claus parade. No, but we're figuring out our costumes. Wait, my sister's kissing the horse. <laughs> this is our bragging rights. Our little miniature horse is such a good kisser. <laughs> but look at her eyeballs. <laughs> Make you feel happy to kiss her, <laughs> other than like fact that you're making it worse. <laughs> He's throwing a fit. He's so lazy though. He's like, I will be mad, but not really. <laughs> I just want out. I'll call Gabby. <laughs> yeah, they know. Oh yeah, they know everything. I'm stuck alone. Thank you. <laughs> this is called temper tantrums with no one. Are you bringing him in? Yeah. Okay. I think we should bring him All right, so we're all grooming Penny. Look at her eyes. She's like, hmm, what are you doing? <laughs> all right, go ahead, braid it. Okay. So this is my brother Bobby, and he is single. <laughs> and he knows how to braid. And he knows how to braid horses. And he's not afraid. Kiss the horse. Oh, you guys saw him. <laughs> he saw him kissing the horse. He's never been around a horse, but he's not afraid of them. Oh, you wow. <laughs> this is after we brushed. <laughs> That's my sister Robin, and she is uh, trying to get rid of the dust. It's, it's never going to leave. Get it from this end. Everybody's working on Penny. I got, I got them all, you guys. I have to her tail, so Penny's peasants. <laughs> She's got Sophie brushing. She's got Owen grooming still. She's got my sister Robin and Bobby braiding. Oh, it's beautiful, Robin. You're so good at that. Robin doesn't have any daughters. She never had any daughters. Five sons. 
And I know how to braid. <laughs> he can braid a horse's hair. He's done braiding. This is his braid. Yeah. Unicorns really are real, you guys. Just wait. Oops. Wait, hold on. You gotta be, you gotta tell her what you're doing. She's a woman. All right, there we go. That's the braid. Now she's a unicorn. <laughs> Penny's like, I better get 10 apples after this. <laughs> she's such a good sport. All right, so I got Owen on Penny. Penny is such a boy lover and she's just being calm. He accidentally pulled back on the reins and she just backed up a little for him. <sighs> Penny's in heat, you guys. <laughs> Not the best time to take her for a trail ride, but she's doing so good. Do you like it? She's like, I saw a boy, there was a horse on the road, a horse and buggy. And she's like, I'm going right to that horse and buggy. No. Okay, Owen is giving Penny her apple because she was so good. Did you love it? Yeah, he loved it. Oh, it was amazing. Daisy met Honey and they touched noses. Yeah, she was so good. Penny loves little boys, young boys. She loves them. I'm texting myself. I swear to God, she could be a ther therapy horse. That's, like, that's how nice she is. He's like, get all that dirt off of you. That was super fun for me. I love to see how Penny reacts to other riders. You guys have seen in the past where like I take her out and she does this like little bucking thing where she's like, I'm not going, I'm not moving forward. I don't want to do this. But when I put somebody else on her that doesn't like ride her, she, she loved him. Like he was riding, he was riding her around with out me holding on to her and she was just calm and quiet she's in heat she was amazing she's like such a good horse you guys i'm so blessed and next week marks two years that i've had penny that's it for today we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video don't you know that you're beautiful